Imagine living your life after 50 and feeling energized and excited about your future. Welcome to the Women in the Middle podcast, the podcast for women who are ready to figure out what they want and create the life they deserve. Here's your host and master certified life coach, Susie Rosenstein. Hey there, in today's episode, I'm going to tell you about an exciting opportunity to be a guest on my new podcast for midlife women entrepreneurs. Let's go. Welcome back to the podcast, Women in the Middle, with over a million downloads and counting. I'm your host, Susie Rosenstein, your master certified coach and midlife mentor, and I am so glad to be here with you again on today's episode, which is in the first week of the new year, 2023. That's the first time I said that out loud. (laughs) What would a beginning of the year podcast be without a new beginning? So I made sure to tell you about one, and here we go. If you're a regular listener, you have been hearing me talk about some exciting news for midlife entrepreneurs, something that was coming soon. And today I'm going to tell you all about it. So without further delay, here's the news. I'll soon be launching a second podcast, essentially a sister podcast, to the Women in the Middle show that you're listening to now. I gave you a sneak peek in last week's episode, but consider this the formal announcement for what's going on. The name of the sister podcast is The Real Women in the Middle. If you're a midlife woman 50 plus who is an entrepreneur or business owner, this new podcast is especially for you. So here's the backstory about how I came to this decision. I had a bit of an epiphany last year. I realized that this podcast, The Women in the Middle, was actually my most valuable asset in my business, other than my coaching, obviously. (laughs) So in terms of content, reach, and the best way for my listeners to develop a relationship with me and my coaching, that's what I mean. So it might also be a surprise to you to hear this, that it was a big insight for me. It may seem obvious. I've been doing this for a while, but it wasn't to me. I also noticed that unlike other areas in my business, I have never taken extra training or got like extra help about how to do a podcast, how to market a podcast, like anything additional. I've been doing it myself. Now, at the very beginning, I got help. I hired someone amazing right at the beginning to help me with the first three episodes to get the music and all that stuff. But since then, nothing. And it's been five and a half years. And as of today, 285 episodes. That's a whole lot of time and investment into a marketing activity in my business, one where I had no extra help. (laughs) So after I had this realization, it really made me think about my business, about the podcast, about all of it. And then something weird happened, something a little weird. So as soon as I had this epiphany, I started talking about it to a few of my colleagues. And I had two opportunities at that time to talk to business coaches about marketing and my podcast. Like, you know how when you have... um. Like you click on something or you mention something and then all of a sudden you start to get all these ads in your feed. It was kind of like that. Like it was the first time I uttered it to anybody. And then all of a sudden I had these two opportunities to talk to these business coaches. And then remember, I said it was a little weird. And that was because these two business coaches didn't know each other. And as far as I know, they're not connected at all, but they each asked me the same question. And that question left me kind of silent, like a a big blank stare. (laughs) They each asked me of my clients who paid me the most money. They didn't mean which people paid me the exact, you know, most money. What they meant was, what could I learn about the people who hired me the most often? What clues, what similarities, what patterns could I see? I didn't know. So I started going through my records of all of my clients over the years, and it was so obvious. It was women 50 plus who were entrepreneurs or business owners. For sure, I also work with lots of women who are stuck in their careers and they want to make a change. But most of my clients are entrepreneurs and are dealing with midlife in one way or another. Now, how about that for a clue and a pattern? And as a listener of this podcast, even if you're not an entrepreneur, I know that you know that midlife can really get in the way sometimes and create both obstacles and opportunities. But it often feels like the obstacles are the majority. They're taking up most of the airtime. They're the most disruptive. Sometimes the obstacles actually feel like landmines to me. 
Careful where you step or turn. Some scary midlife thing is lurking around the corner. (laughs) And I know I'm like laughing a little bit, but it's scary. Anyway, all of this can create a big old midlife funk. And you might be tempted to call it a midlife crisis. And you know what? It might be. It depends on how you interpret a midlife crisis. Of course, it's personal, um, but it is typically defined as an emotional crisis of identity and self-confidence that can occur in middle age, early middle age, typically. Whatever it is, a landmine, a funk, or a crisis, the thing is that it all has stuff in common. And what I notice it as is that it's kind of like you're sailing along. You're sailing through life. You're having birthdays. You're establishing your career. You're raising a family. You might be buying a house this kind of thing. And then all of a sudden, as if there were no warnings at all, (laughs) you're smack dab in a different, often complicated phase of life. And when you're an entrepreneur or a business owner and in midlife, it can have a few extra and complex wrinkles to sort out. Unfortunately, hyaluronic acid won't help. (laughs) So I got to thinking, how can I help women in the middle even more going forward? What else can I do or create that will really make a difference? And it came to me. I needed to marry the two, the Midlife Women's Podcast and Entrepreneurs. And that's where the idea came from, to create another podcast for midlife women who are entrepreneurs. Basically, two cool parts of my business are getting married and having a baby. (laughs) Yes, at our age. And it's called the Real Women in the Middle Podcast. This new show will be like a sister show to the current podcast, The Women in the Middle. The new podcast will be focused on what's really going on in midlife as an entrepreneur while you're in it, dealing with the obstacles, not just after you get unstuck and through the midlife muck. So if you're a regular listener, you'll probably get what I mean. On this podcast, The Women in the Middle, my guests are usually over the hump of midlife muck, stuckness and confusion, right? They've gotten through it. And now they have clarity and they've made a big change and they share their insights and big lessons learned with you. This new podcast is different. The interviews will be with women 50 plus who are successful entrepreneurs or business owners. We'll be talking specifically about the challenges for getting clarity about what you want when you grow older while running a successful business so that other midlife women in similar circumstances can also learn how to get unstuck. We'll also be focusing on what the experience is really like to be over 50 and running a business. The Real Women in the Middle podcast is going to be a show built for midlife women over 50 who are six-figure plus entrepreneurs looking to start loving their lives again. On this new show, we're going to be interviewing women business owners about the success and challenges they've experienced as an entrepreneur in midlife. The goals of the show are going to be to discuss the real challenges midlife entrepreneurs like this face, especially when trying to follow their entrepreneurial dream when they've lost track of who they are and what they want because they haven't checked in with their actual dreams in decades, or they're so busy dealing with those landmines, the midlife issues, that they feel like they've lost control of focusing on their priorities, as well as giving our audience an unfiltered behind the scenes look at what's really going on, what it's really like to be a woman in the middle. We'll also be diving into the current and very real challenges that these extraordinary women who are just like you, what they're facing. So not just in business, but in their lives overall. We'll also cover some of the best ways to solve some of these problems so that both they and our listeners can go out and start loving their lives again after 50. So you might be thinking about the topics. What are we going to be talking about? So in terms of the topics on the show, we're going to be breaking down exactly what's worked and what hasn't, what helps you and what slows you down and what keeps you moving forward and what's keeping you stuck. All of this with the guest's life as a busy, successful entrepreneur. This includes the specific challenges our guests are facing with things that you're probably very familiar with, work-life balance, self-care, changing priorities, caring for elderly parents, self-accountability, relationships, including empty nest, of course, how could we forget that? Menopause, mindset about aging, having difficulty sleeping, feeling fulfilled professionally and personally, that kind of stuff, because this is all part of the entrepreneurial experience for women our age. Now, the goal of this new show is to help six-figure women entrepreneurs get clarity about what they want in their next chapter 
and have the courage and commitment to pursue it so they love their lives again. And instead of focusing on telling your story of how you were stuck and finally got unstuck, I want this podcast to delve into the very real challenges that you face as a midlife entrepreneur today, right? What's really going on? This is a big deal in midlife, especially when looking at your business and your life together. As well, your perspective about the impact of your age on these challenges, that is so important. So on this podcast, we're going to be talking about the very personal challenges that our interview guests are facing with growing and running a successful business at their age and stage of life. We're also going to be discussing one of the most important things to all midlife women, finally feeling excited about their lives again. Sounds good, right? I am very excited about this, especially when I think about my own entrepreneurial journey. I wanted to be an entrepreneur since I was about 12 years old. I was doing calligraphy. I think I've talked about it in a couple of the episodes. I was doing like envelopes, calligraphy, uh, wedding invitations, bar mitzvah invitations, that sort of thing. I was always dabbling in side gigs and selling stuff. If it was jewelry or baby time capsules <laughs> or, or even a nail product. There was all kinds of things over the years that I was interested in, but I ended up with a traditional career path working for other organizations and companies for 27 years. Then when I got laid off two months before I turned 50, it was also the year my first kid left the nest. Just a couple of big milestones to keep things interesting. <laughs> then I took the deep dive into hanging my online shingle up as an entrepreneur and the midlife shenanigans kept on coming fast and furious. Yes, there were some unbelievably amazing opportunities that came along too, but wow, those midlife obstacles and hiccups can really throw you for a loop. And sometimes it's scary. So I want to provide a platform to talk about all of this and more. I can't wait to give you an opportunity to both participate in this important conversation and also be inspired as a listener. We need to talk about this stuff more. I have gotten such amazing feedback over the years for this podcast, for bringing stuff up, because it's so common to feel alone. And it's the same thing, being an entrepreneur and being in midlife. So you can go ahead and apply to be on the show. Applications are open and waiting for you. And they're open now. So just go to www.midlifeinterviews.com to learn more and apply. The new podcast itself will be launched in spring 2023. Make sure to share this opportunity with your friends and colleagues who might be a good fit to be a guest. And remember, just head over to www.midlifeinterviews.com and apply. Let's have fun with this. Okay, that's it for this episode. As you know, my focus as your midlife coach is to help you get unstuck, clear, and excited about your life again. It's super important to think on purpose. It changes everything for you. So ask yourself, are you ready to do this? Do you know how to do this? Because if you are, I'm all in to help you do it. Seriously, if you're ready to change your life and learn the skills to unstick yourself with some masterful coaching, a top-notch curriculum, an infusion of creativity, and a warm, fun, and awesome community of like-minded women, let's talk about it. I would love to be able to help you get unstuck and be happier and more fulfilled than ever before. Go ahead and book your momentum call at www.womeninthemiddleacademy.com and we'll chat. To be interviewed on the new podcast, The Real Women in the Middle, a show for women 50 plus who are entrepreneurs and business owners who know they're meant for more, go to www.midlifeinterviews.com and apply. For show notes and links, head over to www.susierosenstein.com and click the podcast tab and look for episode 285. Thanks so much for listening. It's time for you to put yourself first, one thought at a time. I'm Susie Rosenstein, and I'll talk to you next week. <music>